Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Bash script and today we are going to learn about how to write output of the Bash command into a log file. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. You can redirect the output of the Bash command to a log file using the arrow operators. Okay, get it there. Here's how you can do that. Redirecting the standard output std out to a log file using this operator. This will create a new file or overwrite the existing file with the command output. Okay, so the command output log to a log file override will be your command, then output log. If you are using the double arrow operator, this will append the command output to an existing file or create a new file if it is does not exist. The command output for this one is your command, then output log. Okay, redirecting the standard error. If you have the different log file for the error, then you can use this command. Okay, output to log to error.log. Command output and the error both to the same log file. So you can use like this. Okay, output and error log to get than and this. Suppose you want to log the output of a ls la command to a file name directly listing log. So you can do like this. Okay. So let's, this will create a directory listing log containing the output of the ls hyphen la command. Let's take an example of that one, like how we are going to do that one. Okay. So here we have the command for that one. So let's copy this and go to our code level. That is the main important the example. Okay. So command to execute, this is basically the current date you will get log file that is output.log. So I need to be right over here, output.log over here. So any log file is there, that is log file.log. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, writing the command output to the log override with this. Okay, so here we have the echo current date, current date, log file. So this is greater than, right? So let's save this and run whether it's writing the log files or not. Okay, let's have a look. That is log file that is currently 43 bytes. Let's add some more. And it's again 43. Let's opening it. So current date and the time is added over here. Okay. So let's add again. So currently the current date and time is 20, 25, 34, right? I think it's overriding. Okay. Now if we check over here, now it's 55, 20, 25, 55. That means the log is overridden, not appending. Okay. Then we have the another one that is for the, this is, you can see, writing the command output to a log file override. So what it's doing, overriding. If you want to append that one, so this is a command, right? So here we have a command for the uh, appending that is double arrow. Okay. So let's go and check with the double arrow over here. Double arrow. Save this and go to the terminal. First command, second, third, fourth. Okay. So let's go and check the log file. You can see the whatever we have, it's appending over here. Okay, if you want to append that one, then you can use the double arrow operator. If you want to just override that one, then you can use that one. Okay. And they have the different, different separate files also. They, that here you can see that the your command output dot log to then error log. If you want to come uh, error to be separate and this one to be separate, right? And then if you want command output and the error both to the same log file, then you have to do like this to and. Okay, so both the things error log and everything should be in the same file. Okay, any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.